Don Kennedy with ProMaster Home Repair and Handyman of Cincinnati. As part of our ongoing how-to series, today we want to take a look at how to fix a slow-draining bathroom sink. You know, many of us have had this problem one time or another. We go to wash our hands or brush our teeth, and the sink just simply fills up with water because the drain doesn't seem to want to do its job. Now this is a job that most homeowners can fix on their own. It simply involves getting underneath the sink, cleaning out the P-trap and pop-up drain, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. So join me as we climb under the sink together and we take a look at the plumbing that's underneath your bathroom sink. Here you can see what's called the P-trap. It's kind of shaped like the letter P, hence the name, and this is where a lot of hair and other debris gets stuck and backs up the drain. All right, here we are underneath the sink. I know it's a little tight with both of us in here together, but bear with me, this won't take long at all. It's pretty quick to clean one of these P-traps out and get all the junk that's inside there out of there so our drain's moving again. All you're gonna need is a set of channel lock pliers like this. They're big giant ones that kind of expand and contract like that. And if you don't have a bucket, just use an old Tupperware bin like this. You can, don't tell your wife, you can just wash it out later, fellas, and she won't even know you used it, okay? So all we need to do is take off this collar here. I'm just gonna unscrew it, just be gentle. It is plastic, so you know, it can uh, gouge. So you just gently unscrew this nut here. And then there's one more on the back side, don't forget that one. You can see some of that water is already coming out. Just kind of let it drain. Now while we're letting it drain, this is a good time to show you why they designed this, what's called a P-trap, to work this way. There's always water in the bottom of these traps, and what that does is that creates an, a barrier of air between your drain and your sink. That way, all those nasty sewer gases can't come back up into the house. And you'll notice sometimes if you haven't been at home for quite some time or haven't used a sink, for a really long time, you'll, you'll notice that foul, foul uh, sewer smell coming from that sink. It's probably because this P-trap is dry. Okay, looks like all the water has drained out of that. We'll just finish unscrewing both of these nuts. A little more water will come out. It's okay. And it should slide right out. Now there's a little bit of tasty stuff in there, not too bad, it looks pretty clear. But looks like we got a hairball in there. So uh, I, won't, I won't gross you out, I'll just uh, carefully remove it and throw it away. And it should loosen this drain right up. You know I told you I wasn't going to gross you out with this, but it's just too good, I gotta share it with you. Eh, it's not so bad, I don't know if you can see in there, you can see some of that uh, is all sludged up and blocked. That's what's causing our drain problem, so okay, that's enough, I won't gross you out, just had to share. Alright, the second area where these things get gummed up is in this area called the pop-up. I don't know if you can see that right here. And right next to it is a nut that, that allows you to take that thing off. You know there's that thing on, on your faucet that you can pull up and down and it makes the pop-up go up and down? That's what's attached to this rod here. Of course, that mechanism that's in there provides an obstruction for hair and all sorts of other stuff to get caught in. So I can't really hold the camera here and show you, but I'm gonna disassemble this and show you, you know, it, it's important to clean this part out as well. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see as I pull that rod out, it's got a bunch of sludge and junk on it, so just to, I won't gross you out anymore, but we're gonna go and clean that whole mechanism out thoroughly and then reassemble. All right, now comes the fun part where we get to check our work. Let's see how the drain works now. And it drains quickly. Don't forget to check the bottom side of your piping as you're running some water to make sure you don't have any leaks. So I'm running the water above and I'm just gonna feel around all of these joints and make sure there is no water, no dampness coming out. You know, while you're down here too, you might wanna check these supply valves, make sure they're still loose, looking good, that they're not leaking or there's any corrosion on there. Failure to change these things out results in a ton of water damage, which guys like us get to fix later and that gets costly.
Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you'd like more information about home repair or our company and how we can help you, visit us online at mastermylist.com. If you're in the Cincinnati area and have a question for us, you can reach us at 513-724-0539. And as always, we'd love to be your friend on Facebook, keyword ProMaster Craftsman.